Hey guys, welcome back to Think Making. I'm Anton and today I'll be reviewing this super tough filament, so let's get to it. Well, this is Polymax PLA by Polymaker. This is a PLA-based filament that's supposed to pack a punch. It should be similar to what other companies call PLA Pro or PLA Plus, as it is stronger than usual PLA. But how strong? Well, keep watching to find out. When it comes to presentation, Polymaker earns all the points. It even gets some bonus points for sealing the box itself, which gives the filament an extra layer of protection before it is purchased and used for the first time. Their box is high quality and has a very nice design. I won't go all over it because I already have in other videos. Inside the box you'll be greeted with an instruction and features manual for this specific filament, plus it's translated to many languages. The filament itself is nicely stored in a vacuum sealed resealable bag with some silica gel inside, so there's no need to buy Ziploc bags. In my opinion, Polymaker has the best spool in the market. It simply looks premium. It has a sticker with a material type, printing temp, recommended print speed, and diameter. It's also transparent, so you know how low on filament you are and has three spots to hold the end of the filaments, so there's no need for drilling here. But my favorite thing is the scale, which lets you know more precisely around how much filament you have left. The winding on this filament is also very good, so I wouldn't worry about it getting stuck. The filament itself is very smooth and has a matte finish to it. It's also kind of impossible to break. The diameter is also very consistent and within the margin of error. So how well does it print? Well, as always, I printed my three usual test designs, a calibration cube, a Marvin, and a 3D bench sheet. Using an E3D V6 at a point to a layer height, I found 195 degrees to be a great printing temperature, and hairspray on glass with or without a heated bed, great for adhesion. However, this may vary for you. And the results? Well, for the most part, they were pretty good. The calibration cube looks just right. The letters are well defined and the sides feel very smooth. As for the Marvin, brim was easily removed. Most of it looks nice and smooth, but the bottom overhangs had some minor imperfections. The same goes to the 3D Benchy. Curves look smooth and corners sharp, but again overhangs didn't look so good. This filament should be super tough, plus more resistance to flexing. So I went ahead and printed a couple of things that would test out if this filament actually has the muscle it claims to have. Besides being cool, this crossbow shows that this filament is flexible, plus it returns to its original shape even after being shot many times. This is a simple bottle opener, just to see if a thin edge would resist to chipping or breaking when opening a bottle. It turns out to work just fine. The wireframe pyramids, well, I knew they might not turn out great due to the angles, but I thought they could help prove how strong this filament is. So I placed a wooden board over four of these pyramids and stood in it. They were so thin I thought they might break, but they didn't even if I was moving. They even got nailed into the wood. But I thought I could turn it up a notch, so I went ahead and put my car over them. And wow, I'm impressed. I slowly lowered my car using a jack. The other side was already on the floor before the first two pyramids collapsed. I was even able to lower it more before the last two broke. Pyramids that small and thin would have been crushed since the start if I would have printed them with standard PLA. But finally, this chain link would tell me if this filament is worth my money. So I tied two ropes to the link, one of them was tied to my car, and the other, well, to me. I wanted to see if I could pull a car that weighs over 4,000 pounds with something that is 3D printed. And holy moly, it managed to survive. I did this several times and the link never gave in. Now, this is what I call some tough filament, guys. Even if overhangs didn't do good in my tests, what makes this filament so special is its strength. So in conclusion, if what you need is a filament that can take a beating, Polymax is right for you. I will definitely be using this filament in future projects. If you want to try out a roll for yourself, I'll leave an Amazon link down in the description, along with all the designs I featured in this video. 
Also, remember to tag ThinkMaking in Instagram or Twitter to get a chance to get your creations featured. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and smash that like button and consider supporting me through Patreon or by buying a cool t-shirt like this one in my merch store. If you don't want to miss any of my videos, don't forget to subscribe. And if you're wondering what to watch next, check out this video. Again guys, thanks for watching and see you in the next one.